Today, let's consider the ideal lifestyle. Let's consider creating the life that you want. Let's consider when you say, you know, I want peace of mind above all else. I want to get the life that I want. Try the power of visualization for the ideal lifestyle. Hello, everyone. This is James Nussbaumer, and I'm the author of The Master of Everything, a series of books that helps people create the, the, the lifestyle that they want, the ideal lifestyle, by getting what you want in life rather than what you don't want in life. Now, I'm going to share my screen with you here for a second. And as I do, um, I'm going to ask you, first of all, to, as I'm highlighting this, the ideal lifestyle, in the description box down below of this YouTube video, you'll see a link that will take you to a video, free video, that will show you how to get the ideal lifestyle. And to get the ideal lifestyle, uh, as I go on, hang on a second, I'm doing some technical thing here, and I'll be right with you. Okay, to get the ideal lifestyle, by using the power of reflection or the power of visualization, which is a fun thing to do. I enjoy it. One of the best methods to do is to do this by the power of the, the get the ideal lifestyle. I'm a tongue twister this morning is through the power of visualization. There have been many books written on the topic, but the ideal lifestyle is yours by imagining peaceful scenes in your mind. Let me get rid of this here to my notepad. Peaceful scenes in your mind. Let me highlight this in yellow. Get the peaceful scenes in your mind. For example, what I'm trying to say is, you know, for example, you can visualize, say, in your mind, a beach that's being battered by tropical stormy weather coming in all over the place, sand blowing in the air, hitting you in the face. Branches of palm trees just are intensely swaying in all directions. And like I said, the sand is just twirling and hailing through the air. Doesn't sound like an ideal lifestyle, does it? Everything seems to be disorderly, similar you know, to a distressed mind, for example. And that's not the ideal lifestyle. But however, one thing about storms, they don't last and they do move on. You know, we, when, when they leave, the ideal lifestyle is yours in the sunshine and great gorgeous weather comes in. If you want that to be the ideal lifestyle, you know, a troubled mind cannot give you the ideal lifestyle and resembles that harsh weather we were just describing. Harsh weather in your subconscious mind, perhaps, that's keeping you limited from getting the life that you want. You know, once the issue that is troubling you is gone, you will have a calm consciousness and be on your way to creating the life you want. The ideal lifestyle is done in your mind first and then reflect it into your outer world. So aim to construct a strong structure of positive mental attitudes daily so that when another storm hits you, because storms are going to come around, but you can minimize the effects of the storm because you, are, you will be prepared to face them. Now, I'm going to bring up another slide here real quick. Um, this is, isn't this the kind of lifestyle we want? And this is a quote uh, taken from one of my blog articles. You have the power to experience the effects of what you envision. Picture it and then live it. You know, so visualize that tropical setting on a beach with beautiful white sand and the, the seawater rolling into the shore. Doesn't that look like the ideal lifestyle or similar to what you really want in life? You know, this is how your state of mind should be all the time, peaceful so that it can be used to have peace of mind in daily life. And before I close here, I want to bring up and I want to invite you each week to a brief hangout, jamesnussbomber.com, a podcast where I dive into A Course in Miracles. Each week I post a new podcast to my website, uh, 20 to 30 minutes and I dive into the Course in Miracles to where it's easy to understand to help you get the ideal lifestyle. Find out more at jamesnussbomber.com, and I hope to have you participate. Thanks for listening to me. And I hope this was a little bit helpful today on helping you really get the life you want, start creating the life that you want. Wish the best for you. and hope you're thinking a lot about all your natural gifts that the world is just waiting for you to extend to make it a better world to a better life. Thanks for listening to me. God bless.